have pants, I suggest pants. We may be in a buggy place, um, even if you get hot. I don't know, pants are better. I've got a knee brace on, a knee brace on. Um, I have a t-shirt and then a long sleeve shirt. Again, even if it's hot, I just want it for cover. And I'll typically wear this buff just to be able to cover my face or whatever. Um, I tend to wear it like this. And on the trail, I'll likely be wearing another layer because I get cold. I have a sun hat with sunglasses you'll see in a minute and um, some sun gloves. Um, so this is kind of everything here. This is my kitchen. This stuff you're not going to need to worry about, but you know, get something like this. Brent, for you and Michelle, Marty, me and you can share in this one. I'll provide the fuel, we'll be fine. And this, this is my pocket rocket. Um, it's pretty cool, very small, and uh, we'll be fine with that. A spork or a spoon, long handles, nice, not necessary. You're gonna be out for a couple days, but if we do get like a bag of food, it's easy to, to dip in and eat. But again, not a big deal. Just bring a spoon, something lightweight. Um, smart water bottles are the best and work well with the Sawyer Squeeze. Uh, I typically carry uh, three and a half liters, but that was in the desert. Well, up in Wyoming, I think you need to have a one liter bottle that will be your clean bottle and then a one liter bottle that would be your dirty bottle. And that way you'll scoop up the dirty water, you'll apply your Sawyer and put it into the, the clean bottle. So we'll get those smart, you can get those smart water bottles here. Um, food bag, we'll, we'll deal with that when we, when we all talk, we'll try to try to keep it light as possible. Electronics, um, definitely bring a cable, you know, to plug in your iPhone. Um, this thing has been great for Anchor. It's, I think it's called the IQ. It helps charge things faster. I got two ports and um, we're out for five days. So if you can um, get an Anchor battery charger, um, looks like this guy. This has been great. I have had a six day jaunt and have been fine. I could do a seven day if I listen to no podcasts or like I didn't download anything and just use my gut hook app, I'd probably be fine for eight or nine days. Uh, this also takes care of my GPS too. So, uh, so I just say if we, if we use our devices sparingly, we'll be absolutely fine with mine and one other. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know how great stuff sacks are to, to stuff stuff in. I can fit my sleeping bag in, in this, but a lot of times I just stuff my sleeping bag in the, in the backpack. I have a brown cloth. Um, it's a, just a piece of Tyvek from Home Depot. I have too many socks. Uh, you were going to be out for five days. You could probably do a total of three pairs. Darn tough are great socks. These are all darn tough. And it's just good each day to switch it out. Again, keep your feet fresh. Um, you want some baby wipes to, you know, clean your, in between your toes and keep, you know, any blisters that you do have, keep them clean. Uh, we'll have some Neosporin with us. Uh, this is the toilet tree bag. This is where Mama Meds comes from. I got some blister gear, tampons, eye drops, um, hand warmers, cause I'm always cold. Uh, my toothbrush, toothpaste, and, and some medicine. So just keep that light. Again, you're not going to be bringing any shampoos or anything like that. Uh, really, you're not showering the whole time. We're out. And I have um, three pairs of underwear. You don't need it. Ladies especially, uh, you can do, sorry to do this in front of rent, but you can do one pair and a panty liner. So it's like one pair right side in with a panty liner, one pair right side out without the panty liner and then you can um, turn it inside out uh, or you can just bring some pain liners. Um, I have a fleece. Uh, we'll have to check the weather. I don't know how cold it's going to be. Um, I, have, I have gloves and mittens. I, yeah, I'm overdoing it because I'm always cold. This is my hat and sunglasses and my homemade sun gloves. Um, 
again, if you're out for a couple of days, like, uh, um, sunblock will, will be fine. I would suggest a puffy for at night. Uh, this has been, this mountain hardware thing has been really great. Um, I think you all have one at home already from that, but if it's like a full on winter one, you don't, you don't need that. This is rain gear. I do have a rain jacket, rain pants, and um, mittens, like waterproof mittens to put over my gloves. Again, not sure how much rain we're gonna get, but you know, we just need to be prepared. Being cold is the scare, and wet is the scariest thing for me. Sleeping pad, this is a Thermavest Neolite. It's pretty expensive, but it's, uh, you know, I can sleep on my side. I like to sleep on my side. This tent is um, really expensive. It weighs nothing. Um, but it's not something you're going to want to spend money on. Um, there's, I'm going to ask around, but Big Agnes, uh, is a great tent. And again, Brett and Michelle, you guys are going to be splitting up that weight. So that works really well. Um, I, I think there's one called Big Agnes Cup or something. That'll be good. And then Marty, um, I will chat with Evan about my MSR Zoid tent, which is a one and a half person tent, which would be pretty good. Or rent something, if, if you can get something under two pounds that you can rent from REI, that's awesome, do it. I can even help you carry some of that weight. Uh, this is my little control center. Uh, I think a little Swiss Army knife, the mini, mini tiny Swiss Army knife with a pair of scissors is awesome. I, I, I suggest that, I think I'm gonna get that instead of this huge knife I have. Um, sunblock, uh, we can again get this stuff when we see each other. The stick is great because you're not getting dirt, your dirty hands all over your face. And lip balm, of course. And then I've got toilet paper and um, baby wipes in that.